Howdy guys and welcome to day four of our boat build. Boat build. If you haven't subscribed, liked, left a comment or bought me a coffee, go buy that first before you start watching the episode. Um, thank you to everybody that has bought me coffee. The gecko is getting along quite nicely. Um, it is day four of our boat build. And today we're going to start with the fiber loss work. So yeah, it's going to be a tough day today with the fiber loss. But let's get going. Okay guys, so now, um, at the moment, we're gonna go fiber loss. So yeah, that's, the fiber loss has been laid out. That's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna first plug all the holes. There's a lot of holes. Uh, let me show you like this. There's a lot of holes like that, that we need to fill up first. Holes like that, all that needs to be fixed. So we're gonna fiber loss that first around there and then we're gonna get working on um, putting the consoles on so yeah okay. so that's fiberglass on the wood that's gonna be the panel that fits in there over the fish hats and then all these little holes need to be filled And this is normal fiberglass. We're gonna use the woven and a combo mats that we're gonna use. Okay, so that one's a combo with a woven over because that's where you're gonna stand. That's just a normal combo. And then all the sides, all those holes have been patched up now. All around the sides, all the holes patched up now. Back holes are getting patched up. You can see there is still some fiberglass yawning. And then all of that's getting patched up now. Um, yeah, we need to fix all of that. We need to fix all of that before we can start uh, putting on the consoles. Because otherwise, um, it's no use in us trying to put the consoles on. Okay, there you can see all the fiberglass work done now. All that fiberglass work done, looking beautiful. So now we're gonna start working on the transom. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a paste here. We're gonna fit that in. We're gonna put screws in there to get that new piece in nice and tight. And then we'll um, try and figure out what the weight, the height of the motors will have to be. And uh, then we'll shape it and trim it down until we get the right height for the motors. That is a paste from grinding dust and resin and hardener and so that paste is going to go on here on the transom now and then the transom will be screwed on there tight and then the screws will be taken out later but you reckon it's good how come i think of the wagon is So I'll work him on. Wow. 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 Hij doet wel getrek. Hij doet wel getrek. We gaan het verder eens uittrekken. Thank you, thank you. Huh? Hij gaat. Hi there guys and welcome back to day five now. Yeah, day five. Okay. So today uh, we're gonna fit the motors to see where the motors fit, and then we're gonna get the height. Um, fiber loss. Then we decided to lift this. So last night I quickly built this little box. Um, so this is supposed to keep the water out because that's the fish hatch. So this is supposed to keep the water out. So if you eat a big wave, like you've seen in our episodes, we do sometimes eat a big wave. So that when the water comes in, um, it can't go into the hatch because if that hatch fills, there's no way to get that out without pulling the plug at the back. So um, yeah, we decided to do that. Um, and then this box needs to go on. 
and then all the admin starts so we still have to weigh the boat for the new buoyancy to make sure that all the buoyancy certificates and survey certificates and everything is is correct so what we're going to do is then we're going to um take the motors off again after we fitted them to see with what the height is then we're going to take that off then we're going to go weigh the boat with on the trailer then we need to take the boat off then we now need to go back weigh the trailer so we actually have the weight of just the hull uh, then we know what the motors weigh and then um, you need a dry weight and I can't remember what the other weight is but yo you need the weight of everything for the buoyancy to make sure that we've got enough uh, foam and buoyancy on the boat Marius knows a lot more about that but in any case so then we're gonna go ahead um, and five glass all of this stuff on so a lot of work left to do for today but let's see how far we can get okay this is to any boat owner um, that always complains about how much you pay for somebody to work on your boat it is a lot of work okay so we close the holes everywhere and then you have to grind again then you have to cut all the mat then you have to get everything ready before you can start to fiber loss so it is a lot of work um, it's been four days of, of really really hard work and it's it's kind of stuff that you you can't rush it so we'll find at a stage where we're going to start five glassing the boxes on we fitted the motors this morning um, then we had to trim down the we trim down um, the transom a little bit so that we can get that perfect height for the motors so that's done um, all the fiber glass is cut all the boxes that we want to install everything is done now all the prep work is done so finally we're going to install everything now the motors does look big for all everybody that's been giving me nonsense about the motors too big the motors are too big maybe they are but we're going to fit the motors and then we'll see what happens um so yeah now it is five at last time um Yay, Blake is very excited. It's finally fiber loss time. And then we'll actually see some progress. So, what still needs to be done? Fiber loss. Uh, we're going to put 480 combo on. We're going to put a layer of woven. So, if you don't know what wo woven is, Sheldon is tired. Sheldon is just like chilling. Here. I'm waiting for you, bro. <laughs> so, this is woven. So, there you can see it's, it's, it's heavy, it's thick. So we're going to put one layer of, wo of woven on the transom and then we're going to put 480 combo on there. Um, yeah, so then we, that's going to be woven. Then we're going to put three layers of, of, of fiberglass over here. Two layers of fiberglass down there. Two on the inside to make sure that's, that's all. That's going to be all 480. Um, that box is going to come on there. So we're putting that box on there. Blakey, quickly get on and put that box on, its, on the spot where it's supposed to go there around there so um yeah this is this is just we're gonna we decided to put this this one on here for the fish hatch it's a little bit higher so that the water cannot flow in there so then that one's gonna go on top of that i just turn it turn it not like that no like that there we go so that's gonna go on there so that the water can't get get into the fish hatch um foam's gonna go in back there this one's gonna go on console's gonna go on okay so it is a little bit heavy but the petrol tanks four petrol tanks that's 100 kilogram is going to go down there we're going to put two extra ones in to make sure that uh, i normally only use two two cans but we're going to put 50 kilograms extra in there uh, just to make sure that the weight of the boat goes forward and uh, to counteract the two big foots at the back uh, but those motors are looking so sexy super super sexy the motors um, and yeah then um, hopefully in two hours time We'll have the gecko back and then all the rigging has to start. All the fish finders, uh, GPSs, radios, everything still needs to go back. But uh, finally there's some progress. We're making some progress here. Um, yeah. Okay guys, so it is day five of the boat restoration at the moment and I'm on my way to the wave bridge. Um, yeah. the, the consoles are on, both the consoles are on, five glass are, is hard. So the next step is that we need the dry dry weight or well not i don't know what it's even called but we need the weight of the boat without the motors with the motors and the only way to do that is to put the boat on a trailer and put it on a way bridge and get the weight of the whole thing then i need to go and dump it off somewhere and then i need to weigh the trailer alone and then 
um, I have the difference between the two the weight of the boat and then we've got the and then afterwards if everything is rigged up I go and weigh everything again so then I've got the weight of the motors uh, and all the rigging that we've done and I've got the weight of the trailer and I've got the weight of the boat itself so I'm on my way here to a scrapyard where I can um, actually weigh the boat so yeah that's what we are doing at the moment so it's all the admin because there needs to be new buoyancy done it needs to be a new survey done uh, because the whole buoyancy of the boat is changing with everything that we're moving we're putting new foam in so there's a lot of stuff changing on the boat so now we need to do new buoyancy and we need to do new survey also when we survey there needs to be other safety equipment because i've got twin motors now i don't need oars anymore but i do need uh, a second fire extinguisher so there's a lot of stuff that needs to change on the boat um, with everything with the twin motors that we're putting on so yeah uh, just pretty sorting out some admin and then hopefully later on we can start with the top coat uh, transom is done if all that stuff is done so hopefully um, later on we can start with the transom okay guys so there you go step one boat with trailer 900 kilograms done and they're gonna give me a print out when i come back to measure the rest so yeah step one done now the big part throwing the boat off and yeah bring the trailer back to measure that Okay guys, so now we are back here at the way bridge and there the way bridge are uh, important that you actually take the trailer off uh, the bucket otherwise all the weight's gonna be on the bucket. Uh, take the trailer off the bucket again. Uh, there, all the weight is off the bucket. Now we're going to get the measurement of just the trailer and the printout and then we're good to go. Then we need to put the boat back on. Okay, so guys, so that is done. I'm um, driving back now with the trailer. Um, so the trailer with the boat on 900 kilograms. Uh, then the trailer alone 340 kilograms, which leaves me with 560 kilograms for the boat. Um, yeah, that's actually very interesting. Um, never, I've, I've got my old points certificates, and I'll have to go and check what the boat weight was on, on that to see um, if it's still the same. But yeah, that's actually um, pretty pretty interesting to, to know that the boat weighs 560 kilograms. So um, the motors that we're putting on the back is actually I was looking at the four strokes weight, um, and now because you do get 60 mercury big foot four strokes as well um, they stopped manufacturing mercury stopped manufacturing the um, uh, two stroke big foots but now i've got all the weights um, the, the motors weigh around about 99 kilograms according to these specs that i found online okay so if you look at that 99 kilogram compared to a 40 yamaha four stroke which is just over 100 kilograms 98 to 170 kilograms we're actually not that heavy on the motors i was i was thinking that the motors is a little bit too heavy but we're actually not that heavy on the motors um considering that the 85 that was on there weighed um 128 so we're just 70 kilograms lighter um, and we moved everything forward uh, and that console that we took uh, off was probably about around 50 60 kilograms and that one that we're putting on is just 20 kilograms so yeah there's more or less if you calculate everything that's we've taken off um, and 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 putting on it's it's not that uh, a big bigger difference so yeah it's um I'm actually very excited um, and I, I was worried that the 60s would be too heavy but they're actually not that heavy um, if you look on the internet they actually say that the 60 mercury bigfoot is the lightest of all the 60s in the 60 horsepower range the bigfoot is actually one of the lightest ones um, so yeah that's very interesting all these facts is very interesting to me but the proof is going to be in the pudding once we put the boat in the water and we see where it lies in the water that's that's the only way we're actually going to know whether um, we've got it spot on or whether we've got it completely wrong but at the moment it's looking pretty good with everything that we are doing um, everything that we've moved forward all the weight we've taken off 
um, the, the petrol cans, the weights that's going in, in front in the, um, and that, that weight's going on the keel of the boat so that's also will, will, will help so it's not something that's that's on the deck it's in the air it's on the keel so that will also help to, to take down the bow of the boat um, so yeah the keel if you don't know what the keel is the keel is the strip right at the bottom of the boat in the middle of the boat and the bow is the front part of the boat stern is the back part of the boat so yeah I'm I'm feeling a little bit better because I was worried that those motors was a little bit too big and too heavy but um, yeah I'm feeling a lot better now that everything's starting to get together now oh, before I turn the camera off the worst part and I'm not going to show you this because we're probably going to struggle for half an hour or so to get the boat back on because the boat's lying on the grass so I'm going to have to struggle to get the boat back on but yeah um, getting the boat back on the trailer luckily it doesn't have motors on yet so it should be a little bit easier but um, it's a lot easier picking the boat up when it's in the water or even when it's on sand because then the trailer goes underneath in the sand and you can just push the trailer under the boat but now it's on grass um, you don't want to hurt the grass so yeah it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get the trailer back on the boat now but um, yeah once that is done uh, grinding again so itching again tonight can't take this itching anymore so itching again tonight and then top coat once the top coat is on rigging then we can put all the motors and everything back on and then we're done okay guys and we are back to grinding so yeah we have to grind down everything now smoothen out everything for the top coat so all around everywhere we be fiberglass we need to smooth out so we can do that top coat so yeah So there you can see, transom is prepped for top coat. All of this is prepped for top coat. Everywhere grounded down. This is just loose stuff lying on the deck. So yeah, everybody, everywhere's been grounded down. Ready for top coat. Uh, we had that stage of a project, project where I don't know exactly how I'm feeling. If I'm excited or if I'm angry, if I'm sad, if I'm irritated. Yeah, I'm a little bit, I don't know where I'm at the moment. But let me show you what's going to happen now. Uh, so we're going to put on top coat. All of the stuff to mask off. It's going to be top coat in there. Can't top coat here because this we're going to cut a hole in here because when we hang the motors, two of the bolts are going to go on top of the deck. Two of them are going to go below the deck. So this is like a little empty hatch. There is foam inside here, but we are going to this um, inspection hatches on the side. I close this hole. So we're going to open up this hole. We're going to um, 
cut a hole in here so open up the inspection hatches and then we'll we'll tie on there and we're done if you do two separate hatches uh, or, or cutouts then we can only do one cutout and we only need to repair one hole guys okay, so now we're going to do top coat on all the places that we mask off so you can see all along the boat we've masked off all the places uh, where we need to do the top coat um, so it was grinding again cleaning again um, yeah, wiping the boat off, getting everything clean so that we can actually apply the top coat and it doesn't do any delaminations. Um, delaminations when you see those little bubbles or it lifts up. So yeah, um, I had to grind, scuffing up the whole transom, transom at the back. So hopefully um, in about an hour or so we will start seeing some progress. Um, yeah, I'm really... At least everything is on um, and it's looking really, really nice. The console is looking really nice. Um, so next next thing, we, we've got two or three bad days of weather coming up. So what we want to do is try and get the, the top coat on two or three layers here at the back so that um, if the bad weather comes, it's nice under, under cover so that it could cure. And then we can actually, um, yeah, it's going to be uh, nice, nice and dry and can actually cure for two days and then um, it will be nice and hot so that we can put the motors on so it is friday today day five of the boat project and yeah it was a busy day today i'm um, taking the boat off taking it for ways uh, getting all the weight for the boats and everything so yeah it was a very very busy day but um good day i think we made some great progress on the admin front as well so yeah it was a actually not too bad day So, after transom, it looks a little bit rough, but we still can sand it down. Uh, but at least it's sealed with four layers now, top coat. Here we go, boxes sealed around. All that new fiberglass work has been sealed around. All the way around, all the fiberglass work has been sealed. Um, the little features topping that i'll show you later why we did that it's, it's to stop the water in but i've actually that little seat has grown on me um we're going to put a cover on it and then some 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 sonder foam then i'm going to use that as um a, a, like a, a seat so it's going to be my little captain's seat there on the bottom and it's out of the wind so it's protected so if i'm estuary fishing that's kind of a nice little box there um yeah i've, I've grown uh, to like that little spot there that's it for another day next up we're gonna put on the motors so yeah um, this was actually just a mission so that the top coat can cure for a couple of days so that we can put the motors on um so yeah that's um ooh, the trailer doesn't look so nice but um it is what it is we'll clean that off we can just grind it off it's just wood so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed the episode please 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 guys remember to buy me a coffee um, you guys are funding this whole project, so thank you very much for everybody who's bought me a coffee. If you buy me a coffee, $10 or more, we'll get your name on here. Once everything is done, we're going to get the stickers for all the guys. And also, um, on the old boat, I used to have extreme fishing. Where's that? Where's that one? Um, yeah, yes, yes, the old console. Extreme fishing. So if you're looking to get your fishing shop or one of your businesses, you know, everybody knows that I love freedivers. So I'll ask Shane for some for a freediver sticker. Maybe get a freediver sticker right there in front. Um, or if you want uh, your sticker on my boat, just let me know. If you want some, um, yeah, for your businesses sticker on my boat, let me know. And uh, let's make the gecko sexy again. But it is looking super, super nice, I must say. I'm like, I, I really like like the new uh, boat. Um, tough day today. Um, threw the boat off. Um, grinded again. Oh, so itchy. I'm going to try, somebody suggested I try Omo, cold water Omo washing powder. In, um, and then I'm going to try that. And yeah, so let's see if that works to scrub off the fiberglass. But close to finishing with all the grinding work. And yeah, I think it was an awesome day. See you guys. Um, we're not going to work for a couple of days now. So I um, hope to see you guys once the motors are on again.